is part of the regulation process. Um, we like to regulate the keys. Um, and uh, before we go and uh, level the keys so that they're all at the same height, uh, we want to go through and uh, make sure that the keys are spaced correctly and um, that they're squared. Um, here I'm going to show you how to square and space the piano keys. This is a console piano. And um, first of all, we want to go back, sure, make sure that um, they're all, uh, each key is level from side to side on the top. Now, here, you can, here we can see we've got a key here that's, um, that's tilted sideways. Now, to, to adjust that, what you're going to have to do is adjust the balance rail pin and you use that um, uh, by, by pushing the balance rail to one side or the other. Of course, if it's leaning to the right, you're going to want to push the balance rail to the left. If it's leaning to the left, you're going to push the balance rail to the right. Um, and to do that, you can either use um, a, a piece of wood or a brass dowel. Here I've got a, um, a piece of wood dowel and a hammer. I'm going to use a small hammer to uh, just push that that uh, balance rail pin just a little bit to the left. And what I'm doing is just tapping on that just a little bit. And there you can see that it's closer to square. We're going to just do just a little bit more here. Okay, and there you can see we've we've pretty much uh, squared the key. I think it can just take a little bit more even. Okay, and it doesn't take much, but um, there you can see we've squared that. Okay, so once you've gone through and make sure all of the all of the keys are square um, on the, on their on their top, you want to go through and make sure the spaces between the keys are even. Okay, now we can see um, from uh, one example we have here on the on the middle C um, that there's a bigger space here than there is on that side. So I'm going to have to go and when you when you do this, what you do is to adjust the the, the spacing um, between the keys. Is you're going to have to bend the front rail pin just a little bit. Okay, and you, you do this on on the white keys. It's a little bit easier to see on the white keys, but you also do it on the black keys. Make sure they're evenly uh, spaced between between the, the keys next to them. And when you bend the pin, you um, here I've got uh, um, a tool. This is the offset uh, key spacer. And uh, this one's made to use in a uh, combination tool handle, which is here. Okay, we have a number of different combination tool handles, which will all work um, with the offset key spacer along with a, a number of other um, regulating repair tools, but we'll, what we'll do is when you when you um, go to adjust the front rail pin, you want to lift the front rail felt punching up a little bit. Okay, so I've lifted that up a little bit, and you want to uh, bend the pin from underneath that front rail punching, because otherwise if you do it up here on this part of the pin, um, you could scratch or mar the pin, which would, is going to make it uh, not smooth. So, um, so I'm going to come down here, and and then when, and then when you set set the tool on the pin, you're going to twist it. Okay, now because it's uh, it's uh, the space is is too large on the right and, <clears throat> and too small on the left. I'm going to bend the pin to the right. Okay, to pull that key closer to the one next to it. Okay, and just a couple times, you can see that pulls that back to about where it should be. Okay, so there's an even space between between the two keys, whereas before this one was too wide and this one was too narrow. Now we've got uh, got it more spaced. <clears throat> so that's the, the basic process of going through and um, making sure the spaces between the keys are even as well as um, square, uh, you know, so that it's not uh, tipped to one side or the other. So that's uh, part of the regulation process uh, called squaring and spacing the keys.